Hey everyone, so in my background oriented learn video, I used and provided a macro for pre processing videos and images in ImageJ. And this macro was called Boss Save Sequence. Uh, and it was used to save selected frames from a video so that they could be analyzed by my MATLAB or Python program. And it was brought to my attention by a fair number of people that the macro wasn't working properly anymore. And clearly it was working okay in my original video, but I think I was using an out-of-date version of ImageJ, and so the way the stack to images function was working was outdated. So I've updated the macro and have posted it on my GitHub and website, and it should work okay now. So the new name is boss save sequence underscore v2. While you're here, let's just quickly go over what I changed. As mentioned, the issue was with how the uh, stack to images function was naming the resulting images. So here, stacks, stack to images. Uh, it was naming each extracted image from the stack as slice colon number, which is why this is uh, coded into the original macro. And this is where everybody was having uh, the issues. So now it looks like each extracted image takes the name of the original stack, which here is candle underscore tiff, and then has dash number 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 appended to the end of it, which depends on which slice it is. So in this case, this is the first slice, and in this case, it is the second slice. So in my saving loop in my macro, which you can see here, and this is the saving loop, uh, first, we see what iteration we're on. That's num select. We also need to know how many digits this number is. So that's num dig, and that's in order to prepend the appropriate number of zeros. So if our uh, iteration is a single digit, so one through nine, we prepend three zeros. If it's two digits, we prepend two zeros, and so on and so forth. I have also similarly changed the output file names. So that's this, this, this and this to have the same consistent four-digit numbering. And I'm assuming most of you won't have image sequences longer than 9,999 images, so this won't ever be a problem. Finally, let's just quickly take it for a spin with this candle video sequence that I am dragging in right now. And you can see it's actually from the candle data. I've just cropped it down so that it'll run a little bit faster. I've added this macro to my startup file already, so I don't need to install it every time I open ImageJ. So now I'll just click on Plugins, Macros, and you can see it's Boss Save Sequence 2 right here. And I will pick the frames directory to save it to. And I will take all of the frames, so uh, up to 104, for example, and we can see it running through, and we're not getting that error that everybody else was seeing before in the older version. Deletes everything, and then now if we look in our frames folder, we can see all the frames, and they look like they are appropriately numbered. A good test is the transition over between single and double digits, and that seems to work okay. Same thing between double and triple digits. So you can now use these images in the normal way outlined in my other boss video. And thanks to everyone who pointed out that they were having this issue. And thanks for watching.